CT scan of uh, abdomen and pelvis contrast enhanced CT scan this is a set of axial images uh, followed by some coron coronal reconstructions uh, and uh, this set of images has been copied from www.redrounds.com with kind permission the purpose of this video is to get familiar with the anatomical structures as seen on CT scan rather than discussing any pathology uh, although we will uh, discuss some major pathologies that are visible on uh, the CT scan so the first slice is uh, at the level of ZP sternum just above the level of diaphragm so these are lungs the black things are lungs just above the uh, diaphragm this is the right side of the patient this is the left side of the patient uh, traditionally the right side of the patient should be on your left hand side if you're looking at an image an x-ray or a CD scan or MRI this is the anterior aspect this is the posterior aspect uh, and this is the CT scan table on which patient is lying uh, this is thoracic vertebra ribs here here these are ribs this is heart in free vena cava aorta and uh, esophagus with a uh, little bit of air in it. These are pulmonary vessels uh, that uh, have become more visible because of the presence of contrast uh, in them. We'll move down towards the feet slowly. Three hepatic veins joining the infravena cava, aorta. You are beginning to see the liver uh, on the right side. It's spleen and this is stomach which is empty at the moment descending aorta stomach enlarged spleen enlarged liver this is pancreas uh, this is upper pole of kidney aorta is giving off branches uh, you cannot still see the right kidney here which is uh, pushed down uh, this is where superior mesenteric vein should be. It joins the splenic vein to form the hepatic portal vein. And superior mesenteric vein is huge and is actually pushing the pancreas up. This should be much smaller than aorta. And you are beginning to see the reason there is a blood clot in superior mesenteric vein which is uh, probably the reason why it is so much dilated this is left renal vein which is passing over the aorta to join the inferior vena cava as you can see it aorta is giving off left renal artery here and right renal artery here you can clearly see the blood clot in the superior mesenteric vein this is superior mesenteric artery superior mesenteric vein should be a bit bigger than superior mesenteric artery uh, this uh, is a splenic flexure of the colon uh, spleen left kidney you cannot still still cannot see the right kidney aorta intestines huge uh, superior mesenteric vein this patient is on oral contraceptives and uh, one of the complications of oral contraceptives is that you can develop blood clots uh, this blood clot is unlikely to go into the lungs but pati these patients can also develop uh, blood clots in uh, uh, the veins of the legs which is known as deep vein thrombosis and uh, the blood clots from DVTs or deep vein thrombosis can actually go pass through the infravena cava they can pass through the heart and they will eventually end up in lungs which uh, is known as pulmonary embolism so it's a huge 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 clot uh, begin you're beginning to see the right kidney here liver is also enlarged transverse colon here 
right kidney transverse colon is clearly visible with air in it aorta has been divided into two branches these are source muscles here this is fat below the skin source muscles pelvic bones and coronal reconstructions so this is the right hemidiaphragm, left hemidiaphragm, liver, right kidney which is pushed down as you can clearly see it now uh, this is the blood clot in subimmunitic vein which collects the blood from uh, intestines and takes it to the liver heart here and huge blood clot in subimmunitic vein thank you very much <coughs>